right, what I'd like to show you guys is how to find your x and your x prime given a universal set. So just go ahead and remind you, our universal set for this problem is going to be everything that's inside of this box. So it's going to be 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, and 8. All right, then the next thing I say is find x. <coughs> so my x is going to be, oh, I'm sorry, that's a 0 inside of there as well, right? Nobody corrected me on that. Well, I want to say that. There you go. So we have a zero as well in there. So now, if I want to find what my x set is, my x is everything that's inside that um, x circle. Everything that's inside that circle. So therefore, it's going to be zero, one, zero, eight. We're going to have zero, one, and eight. Then it says, what does x complement mean? What does the x complement mean? Everything that's not an eight. Everything that's not going to be x, but that's still in your universal set. So it's everything that is not in my x, but that is still in my universal set. So therefore, it can't be 0, 1, or 8. So what is left over is going to be 2, 3, 4, 7, 7. All right, um, a couple things I just want to remind you guys of some other previous notation that you're going to be, that you're going to have to get used to. We can also say x is a subset of u, x is a set inside of u, and you can also say that um, 8 is contained into x. All right, that's remember that means contained and that means a subset. Just a quick little review of your notation. So when you need to find the x and the x complement or x prime, make sure you first find your universal set, find what x is, and then you can go ahead and find what your x um, complement is. Yes? Let's do another one with a little. Um Prime, common symbol. All right, yes, we will do another, we'll do another one on this. All right. Yeah.